Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Immigration activists lined the pathway to the House floor before the debate on a controversial bill to ban sanctuary cities in the state. It would impose fines of up to $5,000 a day on local governments that refuse to cooperate with immigration detainers. Force or authorities, local or governments, to work as immigration custom enforcement. The vote comes in the shadow of anti-immigration comments made by President Donald Trump towards Haiti and African countries. When those statements come out about African countries, remarks that should have Defend everyone in this room. Surrounded by House Democrats, Representative Al Jaquette made an impassioned plea for Republicans to consider possible unintended consequences. Racial profiling is real. Republicans maintain the issue at hand comes down to making sure local governments follow the law. Rejecting the rule of law members has profound consequences. Democrats also believe the legislation violates the U.S. Constitution. I don't see any court in this state or in this country upholding this piece of legislation. Speaking in Haitian, Côté que je dis, on a parlé de... Jaquette tried to reassure the community they would be all right. Yeas 71, nays 35. With the vote down party lines, the House approved the legislation. The legislation's been passed by the House before, but the Senate has never given it a hearing. Similar legislation passed in Texas, but was ruled unconstitutional by a federal court. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.